Hey everyone, Cloud here, and welcome to my guide of the Creature of Think and Strain quest. Now, for this quest, you're gonna need the following requirements. So, you need to complete the Priest and Peril quest, the Restless Ghost quest, 20 crafting, 25 thieving, and apparently 20 smithing will help. However, I'm not too sure on that one, so uh, I can't remember that actually during the filming, so uh, just take my word for it. Um, that's it for the requirements, though. On to the items. So you'll need an amulet of ghost speak or a cramulet. Um, you'll need 50 GP or one law rune and one air rune to telegrab a brain a bit further on. Uh, that'll make sense to you as we get there. You'll need a silver bar, uh, three lots of bronze wire, a need. Um, the Dwarven Army Axe and Tool Belt won't work, so you must make sure you've got an actual physical needle in your inventory. And uh, five um, pieces of thread. Uh, it's recommended if you've completed Ghosts Ahoy because the Ectophile you can get from that can be useful. Uh, can if it's Lodestone, it's going to be massively helpful, um, which I'll speak about in a moment. And the only enemies to defeat are a level 50 experiment. But that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Canafist Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. If you don't have all of these unlocked and wish uh, to have a guide on how to do so, there is one in the description below I made. It's very worth uh, having uh, as the Lodestone network comes handy when completing quests. But anyway, from here you want to read the signpost that's in the centre of Canafis, um, which will be advertising a job. Um, after you've done that, um, it will now say the quest is active, and you want to go northeast to Fenkenstrain's castle, and we need to go speak to Dr. Fenkenstrain to start the quest as well. Once you arrive and speak to the doctor, he'll ask you to describe yourself in one word, answer brave dead, and um, that your best skill is grave digging. Once you've answered them correctly, he'll hire you and now will ask you to go on a mission to retrieve five body parts, which is a decapitated head, a pickled brain, torso, arms and legs. So, a bit of an unusual list. <laughs> So first thing you want to do is wear your amulet of ghost speak and go talk to the headless gardener ghost who is sort of towards the north. Um, speak to him and tell you what ha and he'll tell you what happened to his head and you'll offer to go find it as you obviously need this as one of your items. And he'll now he'll tell you that it's buried in the grave uh, in the haunted woods and he'll follow you for about ten minutes. So what you want to do is run. Um, he'll teleport after you so you don't have to worry about him getting lost. And you want to go straight into the haunted woods. And every so often you want to speak to him and he'll tell you what direction to go. As I think the grave is different for each person. Person. but obviously keep traveling in the direction he's saying and keep talking to him and eventually you'll come up to a grave he'll say that it's the one and then if you choose the dig option on the grave you'll retrieve the uh, head so next for the pickled brain we want to go to the bar in Canafis so tele uh, teleport to the Canafis lodestone uh, that's the quickest way to get there now you can either ask the bartender for something to eat and he'll sell you a pickled brain or if you have uh, the air in and law room like I said you can telegrab uh, the brain from the bar and you also complete a Mauritania task for doing that as well once you have the brain in your inventory use that on a decapitated head Next, we need to retrieve the arms, leg, and torso. So, for what you need to do is go upstairs in Fenkenstrain's castle, and there are bookcases on either side of the floor. Uh, search the bookcase in the west room for the joy of grave digging, and you'll find a marble amulet. And then search the east room's bookcase for handy maggot avoidance techniques, and you'll find the obsidian amulet. And if you use them with each other, you'll then get a star amulet. <laughs> Now what you want to do is exit the castle and head east to the tombstones that are near a musician and you want to use the star amulet on the easternmost tombstone. Uh, what it will do is then open a secret dungeon uh, which you'll be able to enter and you'll see there's various experiments inside. Now what you need to do is kill one of the level 50s to get a cavern key and it's the one that looks like a dog with a female head as the others don't drop the key. Uh, you should drop it straight away um, as long as you've killed the correct one. Once you have the key, you want to follow uh, a tunnel in the northwest part of the cavern and it will lead all the way to a gate. Uh, you want to unlock it and then go up the ladder and dig at the three tombstones to unearth all of the remaining parts. Now you've got all the parts, you want to head back to Dr. Fenkenstrain and hand them over to him. Once you hand the body part to the doctor, he'll also ask for five spools of thread and a needle, which you should have in your inventory, and you'll give them to him, and you'll now receive another assignment, which is fixing the lightning rod. 
So to get the lightning rod, this is what you need to do. So you need to ask the gardener ghost for the shed key and then go inside the shed outside and search the cupboard for a garden brush. Outside the shed, there will be a pile of canes. You want to take three garden canes and use them on the brush each time uh, and you'll attach them with your three uh, pieces of bronze wire. This is what requires 20 crafting and this will extend it, making it suitable for chimney sweeping. Now go upstairs and use it on the west fireplace uh, in the room where the marble amulet was to get a conductor mould and once you have the mould you need to go to a furnace. Now if you have the canvas lodestone unlocked you can pretty much go to any furnace and come straight back so I would suggest just going to Lumbridge or Falador as they're the ones that got a uh, furnace right near um, the lodestone. Uh, obviously you want to go up to the furnace, use the silver bar and the conductor mould on the furnace and select lightning rod to make the conductor and then obviously once you have that you want to return to Fenkenstrain's castle again using the lodestone network and then you want to go right up to the very top of the uh, castle you'll see there's a few doors and a few ladders to climb. Uh, uh, and then you should be able to see the lightning conductor and you should be able to click to fix it. Lightning will instantly strike and the monster will come to life. Go back to Dr. Fenkenstrain and he'll tell you that the monster tried to kill him and so he locked it in the tower and wants you to kill the monster and he'll give you a tower key. So what we need to do is take to the stairs again but this time we're going to go in the room in the centre and climb the ladder. Now as you go to kill the creature you realise it's not um, a dangerous and it'll actually turn out it's a uh, Lord Rolagaf, the original owner of the castle and Fenkenstrain um, tricked him into selling all of his subjects and himself to the vampires and Fenkenstrain is the one who also um, killed Lord Rolagaf. So he'll ask you to stop his plan, which all you need to do to do that is to pickpocket Dr. Fenkenstrain and steal the Ring of Karos, which has been used to deceive people, and this obviously requires 25 thieving. Uh, so as you go down to the doctor and pickpocket it um, from him, it might take a couple of attempts, I'm not 100% sure, but once you've got it, it will come up. Congratulations, you completed the Creature of Fenkenstrain. You're awarded two quest points, 1,000 thieving experience, uh, a Ring of Karos, which allows access to the Werewolf Agility course, and when activated it reduces cost to many transport links. Um, the activation of the ring does require completion of the Garden of Tranquility quest. Uh, you'll also get access to the Experiment Cave, which is where we uh, killed the weird dog woman. <laughs> um, two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice so yeah not too bad of a quest there's a bit of running back and forth in that but it's not exactly difficult the ring of Karos, especially after you complete garden of tranquility is a very handy item to have as it does reduce a lot of costs and uh helps you with a lot of other sort of quests and tasks etc and i think a lot of the achievement diary tasks do require the ring of Karos in order to uh, make it happen so uh definitely a well-needed quest and this one is required uh, this quest is completed um is required even so to complete many other quests so uh, I don't think you'll run into any problems using this guide however if you do get stuck leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can anyways thanks for watching everyone please make sure you like favorite comment subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends cheers guys bye